efficient, and effective workforce management is crucial for organizations to ensure legal and regulatory compliance. One way to achieve this is by adding employees to the database. Great HR offers a centralized platform for managing employee information, self-service portals, reporting, and analytics tools, and compliance automation. The company has introduced a new feature called Rehire Check. The Rehire Check feature assesses the suitability of former employees, reducing the risk for organizations when rehiring them. So let's get started. In search actions, enter Add Employee. On this page, before adding an employee to the database, as an admin you must first perform the rehire check of the employee. If the rehire check feature is not enabled, you can always enable on the employee options page. Click rehire check settings. You can always disable the option or make changes by clicking here. Please refer to the link attached in the description for more details. Now start by entering the details such as name, date of birth, Aadhaar number, and PAN number to check any existing employee records. Click on check. You may find some employees with matching details, if any. You may also view employee records that include both resigned and active employees. Click here to view the joining or exit details of the employee. Then click on View Details to have a look at the offboarding details of the resigned employee. You will be redirected to the Employee Profile page. If there are no matching details, then you can directly click on Next to proceed. In case you come across and resigned employee records then, select the records and enable this option to allow the system to automatically fill in the selected resigned employee's details. The employee's fixed information will be copied and displayed in the employee profile, add employee form, and employee onboarding form if initiated. Qualification, previous employment, and the counts, and statutory documents supporting the fixed information will also be copied. Click Next to fill in the basic information of the employee such as employee number, name, date of birth, date of joining, and much more. In case of a rehired employee, the information auto-populates. Click Next to update employee position details. Post updating these details, click Next to update the employee PF, ASI, and LWF details. Enable the option Include PF to update employee PF related information. Similarly, enable the ASI and LWF options if the same is applicable to the employee. You can always skip this page and update this information anytime in the future by going to the Employee Information section. Click on Next to update the payment type. You can select any one of three ways to make payment to the employee, namely cash, check, or bank transfer. Before you click on Finish, you can revisit the previous tabs using the previous button and make corrections if required. Click on Finish to complete the task. The summary message is now displayed on this page confirming adding of an employee to the database. I hope with the help of this video, you will be able to distinguish the duplicate records and proceed adding employees to the database effortlessly. With that, we come to an end. Please like and subscribe to this channel for updates about our upcoming videos.